the light of the world. This statement in Matthew 5 is now to be fulfilled. Not in part, but in whole or in full. Personally, Jesus isn't here. He did not expect to be here. But he needed something in the world that would do what was to be done. Light reveals. Light makes manifest. Light takes away excuses. Light leaves nobody in ignorance. Light brings to pass that which is felt or thought to be impossible. You take notice in John chapter 5 when Jesus spoke and said of himself, I am the light of the world, and as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light. He healed a young man who was born blind. It was light being made manifest. He was proving what he meant when he said, I am the light of the world. He was proving to men or making manifest to men and women the things that men had formerly thought impossible could be done by man. And we would have never known the ability, the wisdom, or that which man can do or could do had not been Jesus came in the world as a light. As a light is set forth, these manifestations not just to be doing something, but he wanted to show to mankind what they were expected to do, what they could do, and what they must do. Think of the sun that shines by day. The sun refused to shine and make manifest in earth, the majority of all vegetation would die. And this another thing, you would not be able to discern the things that you ought to discern. You would have a very difficult time escaping danger if it wasn't for the light. You wouldn't know where cleansedness was and where filth was if it wasn't for the light. The light makes manifest, or the light shows men things. Light reveals things that around us. If this room had no light, you wouldn't be able to behold me, though I stand here speaking. You would merely hear a sound and have to guess and wonder from whence it comes. But it's not so in this room because the light is here. You can see me, you can behold me, you can see this, or clearly see ye are the light of the world. This church that God has raised up. Through the servants, the ministers of the gospel, Bishop and Sister Poole. He says concerning the whole, ye are the light. 
your duty is and your vocation must be of revealing hidden things to man. Yeah. Now, man may not believe all the hidden things that God has revealed, but that doesn't matter. It has this great purpose. It must reveal the good of God, and it must reveal the evil of man. That's right. That's a big job. Think of it. If you go into your home and there's no light in your in your house or in your room, what? But the light reveals it. You wouldn't know when your house was clean and when it wasn't clean if it didn't have light. You only discern whether it's clean by the light that you have. Although some people right in the light leave the dirt on the bed. And then try to say, my house is clean. Yeah. But it's not like that. You may declare it, but if somebody comes in that's acquainted with light, they will be sure to see that dirt. That's right. So the church, church, this church, of whom Christ faith says, ye are the light of the world. I want you to reveal hidden things. I want you to make manifest the possibilities of man with God. Did you know under this present time, there's a very few people believe in the possibilities of man? May I speak? Of a verse of scripture that's very much disbelieved. All things are possible to them to believe. Now this this church supposed to be or is to be a believing church. And because it is a believing church. God expects it to be the light of the world. And reveal the possibilities of man. That nothing is impossible with them to believe. This church is to show all Chicago. The power of God. And the glory of God. And the work of God. And the faith of God. And the possibility of a man with God. Yeah. Not many churches are doing that. I wonder what they're dedicated to. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, when he said, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. So he found the man who was born blind. And the witness had, witnesses had declared, Can any man open the eyes of one born blind? They were in darkness. Yeah. They had no light. Yeah. They had never been able to see such a thing as that being done. Yeah. But Jesus said, As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light. Yeah. That's why I'll do this for you manifest and make you see and know. They can be done. Thank you, Jesus. He called the young man to himself. Knelt upon the earth. Spit upon the dust. Made clay of the spittle. And anointed the man's eyes. It looked so foolish. It didn't look like wisdom. It didn't seem to be right understanding to spit on the earth yeah. and to make spittle out of clay, yeah. a clay out of the spittle, then put it in the man's eyes and tell him to go walk. What a foolish looking thing! Yeah. How silly it seems to be! Yeah. How much does the, what do the physicians think about it? Yeah. Nothing to it! But he said, I am the light! Yeah. 
I'm doing this for the purpose of revealing. I want man to know the possibilities of man with God. The eagerness and the sincerity and the desire for it must be as it was in Jesus Christ. He wasn't satisfied sitting down and the work going unfinished. He was daily working a miracle, opening the eyes of humankind Taking them to understand, taking away their darkness, or taking away their ignorance, taking away their non-understanding, and giving them an understanding. And they couldn't deny. One of the men came to him by night and said, Master, we know that thou art a man of God. No man can do these works that thou doest, except God be with him. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light. But now ye, and what was said of him, must be said of you. Hallelujah. Oh, but Bishop, we, 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 we are not Jesus. You don't have to be Jesus. Just be what Jesus said you are. He is right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not changing you to something else. I'm telling you, ye are the light. This church is the light. There may not be another church in Chicago like it. I'm not saying there could not be. Thank you, Jesus. But I, I guarantee you this. You can search street after street, alley after alley, alley after alley. You won't find many. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But though you do not find so many of them, yet ye are the light. God has chosen this church to make manifest the men. In the streets and in their homes, the possibilities of man with God, and to show them God's glory, and to bring the light that which is in darkness, and reveal to them that which they've never seen. When Jesus came on earth, no man had ever seen a man born blind receive his sight, and every day or so. Jesus was doing something that men had never beheld. Thank you, Jesus. All for one purpose. I am the light. I come to open your eyes. I come to reveal to you. I come to give you an understanding. I come to let you show wisdom. I come to show you what I mean, what light means to our human beings. We've got men today working, and they have brought light to us. We say, and yet it isn't light equal to the light that we already have. Jesus did this. He stood on the mountain and talked to a group of men. And gave them his commandments. And said to them, farewell. He lifted himself into the air. Yeah. Until they could see him no more. Now look at the amazement. And a man going up in the orbit. Now the minds are, are in captain. Yeah. Look what men are saying. A man got a lot human in a homemade rocket and went up. Down into outer space. God gave us that light through Christ. Yes. That's not new light. Yes. We've already had that light. Yes. Don't need a rocket. Don't need a capsule. He that puts his trust in God can give light. 
to the world. Do not think it's impossible for a man to go into outer space. Light has already come. Jesus has already shown him the world. The possibilities of man. But we, chiefly, the majority of us, have gotten so far away from God. That is the faith of God. We make great admirations at those men going up a few miles in the air. And they haven't got out of sight yet. And Jesus went from out of sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't need a rocket. Don't need either. Don't need any gas. Don't need tools to make your machine. Just get in God and faith in God and stand and soar away. Yeah. Churches give the world light that these things are possible to them that believe. Ye are the light. Since, since it is the light of God in that respect, then we must dedicate ourselves to that purpose. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be true to the vocation where it was uncalled. I'll be true to the work to which God has given. We'll stand by it. We'll walk by it. We'll not shrink nor fail. Doubt not fear. Ye are the light of the world. Thank you, Jesus. There come a body confusion and disappointment in the days of Jesus. Two young girls with a brother that died were greatly disappointed. They had sent for Jesus four or five days before, saying, Jesus, come. Yeah. He who you love is sick. Yeah. He stayed away for four days. Yeah. Now the fourth day was over. He said to his apostles, his disciples, come, let us go. Lazarus is asleep. Yeah. They said, oh, master, if he's asleep, he do it well. No, you don't have to go now. He's asleep. They said, yes, but Lazarus is dead, and I'm going to awake. Yeah. What do you mean, going to wake him up? Nobody raises dead, folks. Yes, but I am the light. As strong as I'm in the world, I'm the light. This is my duty. This is my work. I must manifest it. But darkness comes. And no man can work. I must go. I must go. I must go. But why do you have to go there? Because I am the light. As long as I'm in this world. And this is the work of light. I must make manifest to the world. As though he be dead yet, shall he live again. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Have you realized your position? Do you know your responsibility as being the light? Do you know what it meant when he said, ye are? Hallelujah. And are we steadily driving to that point where there will be nothing lacking in these things he has expected of us. So Jesus said, well, come on, we'll go. And he said, well, come on, we'll go along with him, see what he's going to do. Because we haven't seen it like this, and we're going to follow along, see what's going to happen. And Mary made him so, Lord, Master, if you'd have been here, that's her disappointment that's right. and her surprise, disappointed, if you'd have been here, my brother would not have died. Right. Now look, Lord, you didn't come and he's dead. What are we going to do? Hallelujah. He looked upon her and said, Mother, your brother shall live again. Right. Oh, yes, but Lord, look way over yonder in the resurrection. So he died. He said, Mother, hush up. Ah! What does it 
mean ye of the resurrection? In myself. In myself, there is the authority and power to give life to the dead. That's right. That's right. You don't have to go yonder. Yeah. You don't have to retreat to yonder's place. I am. Yeah. The thing you want is in me. Yeah. The thing you want, God has given me to do. I am the resurrection. Yeah. 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 I am. Yeah. Now you are. Yeah. Oh, think of the responsibility of this church. Thank you, Jesus. And I want you to think of something else. This life has, this thing hanging up here, has a responsibility. It's only there because of responsibility. If it fails in its responsibility, we'll not respond to its responsibility. Every one of us is born, taken out, and done away with. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure Bishop Poole would want to get rid of it if it refused to respond to its responsibility. I'm much, I'm much assured of that that Sister Maddie Poole would well, want it moved from there. Amen. Where did Sister Maddie go? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I would to have thee near me. Friend, think about it. That light, that light, that light, that light, they be removed. When found unfit, that they would not respond to their responsibility, they'd have them removed and others put in their place. What's Christ going to do with the people? Where is that church? shall not be removed if it refuses to respond to its responsibility. Yeah. Just calling some of the church is not all of it. When you say church, you think of something with a responsibility to give life. Yeah. A responsibility to raise the dead. To have a responsibility to raise the dead. Wow. Has a responsibility to separate darkness from light. Yeah. Has a responsibility to reveal the hidden things of God. Every responsibility to say to show mankind the possibilities of man, that all things are possible to them that believe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To this, to this, yeah. devotion is this church, yeah. dedicated by the Spirit of God, to do the work of God through mankind. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's just there's a sad thing come about in our lives. So many people say, well, if Jesus hadn't been invisible, God, he couldn't have done nothing. That's a mistake. That's a sad mistake. Didn't he know I wasn't the invisible God when he said I could do the things he done? That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to be the invisible God to walk on the water. That's right. You don't have to be the invisible God to feed the multitudes. Uh-huh. You don't have to be the invisible God to raise the dead. That's right. Just manifest what God told you to do. Right. Just fix, put yourself in the position to carry out yeah. that yeah. which your position calls. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Just do not become ashamed. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus went to the home of those girls. They gave, gave him their words of disappointment and sadness and sorrow. He looked around at them and said, Listen, tell me where you're laid. Where, where we're laid, yes. Just tell me where you're laid. Oh, Master, it wasn't me. But this time he's thinking, I didn't ask you why he was thinking. Just tell me where you're laid. Yeah. It doesn't matter me if he's thinking. Tell me why you're laid here. I am the light of the world. Show you what you never see. I want to make manifest to you, God. I want to do the work that God sent me in the earth to do. Tell me where you lay. I'm not giving you any charge either. I'm not asking you for any pity. Just tell me where you lay. And then away they went. And away went Jesus. And a whole crowd they went along. Unbelievers, disputers, and bosses and fighters, you'll have them wherever these days go on. 
But that shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter how the moon shines at noonday. The sun keeps shining. Thank you, Jesus. If you can get down in a place deep enough in the dark, you can see the stars shining in the daytime. Oh, my friend, it matters now how dark this world. And the better darkness, the more room I have, the more room this church has, and the more she has, she's able to show forth the light. In the darkest night, the light shines bright. Huh? Light means something. It won't be many hours till all the whole city, so far as the sun and moon is concerned, will be turned into darkness. But the sun drives it all away. Huh? And in darkness there's misery. In darkness there's much sorrow. In darkness there's a lot of evil going on. But when the light comes, it moves away. Many of those things cease when light has come. So Jesus said to him, said to him move the stone. No oh, master, he's thinking, that's all right, move the stone. They roll away the stone. Light making manifest. Light revealing. Light on the job. Light ready to do her duty. Light ready to proclaim. Light ready to declare. Move the stone away. They were so mean taking that stone and moved and moved away. Jesus stepped, looked into the sepulcher with a heart full of sadness because of the folks. I'm going to do this thing to try to save somebody. Except they see it. They'll not believe. And I'm the light of the world. I'm the make them see. I'm the drive back the darkness and move it so they can see. And they must see. I know. Look up their head. I know you hear me. Always. Because I do always. Those things are pleasing in your Remember, life has come to Detroit. Yes. Beg your pardon, to God. <laughs> Excuse me this time. Life has come to Chicago. Yes. And because of life, there are thousands are going to die because they believe not in the life. Yes. They that reject light will remain in darkness. And they that walk in darkness know not where they go. Oh, friend, this whole community around here, I wonder, do they realize what kind of place this is? What kind of people are in this place? They don't, they, maybe they don't know they've only been here about a year. And the folks around here, maybe they don't know. But wait just a few days. Just wait a few days. And the dead begin to be healed. And the sick begin to be healed. And miss their patients. And got to miss their patients. And got to miss their patients. All because light has come. Every community will begin to realize. What the mind? What is this on you? What kind of city is this? What is this on you, Clay? Oakley. What is this on Oakley? Clay. Look in this service. What is taking place? Because light has come. The 
because the light is being made manifest. So for here, for Mississippi, Texas, Arizona, Tennessee, Kentucky, New York, Alabama, Light opens your eyes. Light gives you an understanding. 
Light makes you no dirt from cleansiness. Light makes you no wholeness from unholeness. Light makes you no right from wrong. Light. As long as this church remains the light that God said there should be, no man will walk in darkness. That's right.